What happens when I don't answer your questions? Like, how do you, mm -hmm. is there a threat of violence against me if I'm not answering your questions? Like, this what happens America. to me? This is America. You're right, it is America. The United States Census Bureau decided to pay a visit to the Rebel Love Studios earlier today. The following is the interaction between myself and an agent of the state. I hope you enjoy as much as I did uh, recording it. I'm recording, the by the way, so just letting you know. Absolutely. I'm with the United States Census Bureau. My name is Chris, okay. and this is the American Community Survey. Hang on to that. That's going to be your part. And. Uh, I'll first be asking some questions about people who are living or staying at this address. And if I could use that as a little desk, I can type two-handed. And what is your name? I don't want to give that out. Okay. We can do it anonymous. That's fine. Um, and there's two people living here? Anybody else besides two people living here? I'm not answering any questions. Okay, this is a mandatory survey. It's an American Community Survey sponsored by the Census Bureau, but it's by the Housing and uh, is Washington, D.C. Is that supposed to mean anything to me? Oh, okay. All right. So the following questions are to make sure that this list is a com as complete as possible. Two males. Is there anyone else, anyone else staying here, even for a short time, such as a friend or a relative? I'm not answering any questions. Okay. Um, now I'll ask some basic questions about people in the household. And I'm speaking with the person. And you two are roommates, correct? I'm not answering any questions. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, again, any information you do provide is held uh, protected under law. And I'm just going to get to the nuts and bolts of this. And what is your birth date? Not answering and any questions. And your roommates? Not answering any questions. Okay. Are you of Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin? I'm a human being. I'll answer that question. Good answer. Um. Now I'll ask about this particular building. How many units are in this building? I don't own it. But is it three apartments or is it combined because I was over there? About three I, apartments? I, I, like I said, I'm not answering any questions with that. I don't know. I don't own this. Okay. In what year did you move into this apartment? I'm not answering that question. Okay. Is there anything that I can answer for you because that is... Uh, um, there's some explanatory. Let me show you the letter that you should have received. The U.S. Census Bureau is conducting the American Community Survey. A Census Bureau representative will contact you to help you complete the survey. The survey will ask you questions about your household's characteristics, including such topics as education, employment, and housing. Um, I would appreciate your help because the success of this survey depends on you. The American Community Survey produces critical, up-to-date information that is used to meet the needs of communities across the United States. For example, results from the survey may be used to decide where new schools, hospitals, and fire stations are needed. Survey data are used by federal, state, local, and tribal governments to make decisions and to help programs that will provide health care, education, and transportation services that affect you in your community. The survey information also helps communities plan for emergency situations that might affect you and your neighbors. The Census Bureau chose your address, not you personally, as part of a randomly selected sample. You are required by U.S. law to respond to the survey, Title 13, United States Code, Sections 141, 193, and 221. We estimate the survey will take about, I usually chop it down to 12 minutes. I want to emphasize that any information you give our representative, that's me, will be kept confidential. By law, the, sur the Census Bureau cannot publish or release to anyone any information that would identify you or your household. Again, that's Title 13, Section 9. The information you provide can be used only for statistical purposes. Um, and if you have uh, access to the internet, you can look at more stuff. Hello? Okay. Okay.
So we'll get onto the well, housing questions. Well, I don't believe the government should be involved with any of those services you just listed. Okay, the, the, uh, anonymity. You can have you can have it be anonymous, but this housing um, questions well, are important. Well, I'm just saying I don't believe that the government has any legitimacy in regards to any of those services that you listed. Okay. Um, the next few questions about the number and kinds of rooms in your home. Rooms must be separated by built-in archways or walls that extend out at least six inches and go from floor to ceiling. How many separate rooms are in this apartment, not counting bathrooms, porches, balconies, foyers, halls, or unfinished basements? I'm not answering that question. That's a basic housing question. And this is when they... I don't believe you have legitimacy to ask me that question. It's under the code, U.S. What code. What happens if I violate that code? That's not my end. That's the U.S. Justice Department. I'm well, just what are they going to do together. to me by not answering that question? Again, that's not my end because I'm... This well, I'm just, I'm just curious data. where this would go. Okay. So, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. So mm -hmm. what happens if I don't... You're a random person on, uh, at mm -hmm. this door. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, but what, you know, what happens when I don't answer your questions? Like, how do you... Is there a threat of violence against me if I'm not answering your questions? Like, this what happens America. to me? This is America. This is America. You're right, it is America. Um, and the government uses knowledge. violence against me all the time, or at least the threat thereof. To so. my knowledge, uh, the, the way that the survey goes, the Census Bureau is mandated by U.S. Code to collect data on housing and population. So the... Why do they want this data? Well, um, again, they use that data. For instance, here's an example. Can I have, the, can I have, have all the information about your household? Can I know if, about if where I was you in live? A survey, absolutely. Can you give it to me right now? My name is Chris Barker. What's your address? My address. I live in Manchester. Well, what's I live your here. address? This is my community. I live over on the East End. Well, can you give me your address? Let me first answer this question about okay. here. Okay. So the statistics um, we have in Manchester, just uh, I think it was the last year or year and a half, we have a new uh, veterans housing. Uh, some of our vets are facing the homelessness and not having the housing that they need. So we have a new um, complex, apartment complex for our veterans. And that's federally funded and that the By data, federally funded you mean stolen from me and paid for them. Yes. Anyway, we we we, we the people, right? We the people. I didn't um, decide, but go ahead. Um, they make decisions based on the data to make new schools in Derry. I believe they made a few years back a Barca Elementary School, and that was based on statistics gathered because of the influx of families. I, I, you know, well, my thing is, why does the government need to steal money from me and ask me invasive questions when if I, if I have kids and I want to take them to the school, why can't I actually pay for a service I need, let the market decide how many schools are? If there's a, a huge demand for schools, they'll build more schools. Like, to me, this just seems like a way to steal more money and to ask more questions. I'm just questions. asking how many rooms are in the bill, are in I'm saying apartment. you have no legitimacy to ask me those questions. Okay. Let but you continue. never answered my question. Where, I, you know, I'm not where a, do you? Well, you're asking me personal I'm questions. I'm a data collector. I don't understand that, but I'm just turning it right around on you. Yeah. How many people live in your house? Who are they? Mm -hmm, What's mm -hmm. their names? How you know? Mm -hmm. How many rooms are in your house? What is your address? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, do you want to give that to me? Well, again, I'm not. Well, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to prove a point. I'm trying. No, 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 no. I'm trying. I am trying to. This is how I feel. I am trying to prove a point. Well, I know, just doing your job is not an excuse in my uh -huh. book. But you're asking me invasive questions about my personal life. Oh. Okay. Okay. And I'm saying is, well, if you're going to ask me those questions, okay, can I ask you those questions? What is your home one? address? You know, how many people live in your house? Okay. How many rooms are there? How about this? Just basic housing <coughs> questions. Do you have hot and cold running water? Do you have hot and cold running water? I'm not answering that question. Time. I'm just, you know, just trying to, this is a, what can I say, is that something that you'd like to, hot and cold running water because there's so many people, there's landlords who Why don't do you need take to know? care, because there's landlords who don't take care of their buildings, and if you said, gee, I don't have hot and cold running water, then perhaps some other down the line buildings would be built where people can have comfortable, safe places to live. Again. I'm not, not on that end of it, and um, 
I'm just a citizen like you. I live here. I don't I want, want my I don't want to be, be a citizen. Oh, you don't. No, I'd rather be an undocumented person. Right. I didn't. I never signed any contract to be a part of this collective. Okay, I'll finish my my spiel here. Okay. Does your apartment have a flush toilet? I'm not answering that question. Does, does your apartment have a bathtub or a shower? I'm not answering that question. Do you have a sink with a faucet? I'm not answering that question. Uh, do you have a stove? or a range to cook on. I'm not answering that question. Do you have a refrigerator? I'm not answering that question. At your apartment, do you or any member of your household own or use a desktop, laptop, netbook, or notebook computer? How many computers do you have in your home? Um, one. I have a laptop. Oh, okay. And where's, and your home, where's your home again? Right over on the east oh, end. Oh, and what's the address? Near the Elliott Hospital. Well, what's the address? Off of Terrytown Road. What's Central the address? Central Street. What's, you're, you, you know the address here. What's the address to your place? Again, I'm, I'm just trying well, I'm to do I'm my just job trying to figure out. I'm trying to prove my. Questions. I'm trying to prove my point. If you're not willing to give me that, why should I give you this information? I personally. I don't I recognize the fact that you're with uh, some group. Okay. I, it's not my, so let me, let me I'm just, not affiliated with you, so it doesn't okay. matter. So okay. you're a human being standing in front of me asking me these questions. What you do okay. with that information, I honestly don't all's know. All I know and all I say is I'm proud to live in my community, my country. I want it to be better. It's not perfect. We don't live in a utopian society, but I can walk up and down the street and do my job and speak to citizens. Yeah, but don't you see how much of an invasion of privacy this is? This is a huge invasion of privacy. Hot and if you running water. Asking me all these questions about what is in here and like literally using the threat of violence against me if I don't oh, answer these who questions. Said that? Well, no. what, what happens if I don't answer this? You said it's by law. So Again. what happens when I break a law? You know there's no victim to this. What happens when I break this non-victimless crime? Okay. What will happen to me? I, I actually am really okay. asked, curious about what will happen to me by not answering these questions. Okay. Um, the way that this survey uh, works, it is a one-time mandatory survey. It is written into U.S. code. Citizens are asked throughout the country, not just here, but throughout 50 states, to pitch in. Five, it normally takes about six minutes of time, and I'm sorry that I'm taking so much of, of your time, but no it normally takes about six no. months. We run through it, we run on. Um, again, planning for schools, planning for housing, planning for uh, transportation. Again, all those things should Let not be finish. taken care of Let by the finish. states. So that's the purpose of the, of the survey, for planning, for building, for schools, for transportation, for highways, for hospitals. Uh, when I'm done with my job, I close my laptop, I go to another place or I'm done for the month or whatever my workload is. Mm -hmm. Statistics are gathered, plans are put into place. Uh, for those um, citizens who uh, refuse participation, then it goes to the U.S. Justice Department. I am not in that area. I don't know. So my answer for you is I don't know. I thank you for okay. your time. Thank you. I appreciate Good luck your honesty. To you. Good I'm just well, a my, citizen my, like you. I'm not Mate. a citizen. Oh, I don't not. want to be. Oh, okay. Well, at, at any I rate, I don't recognize community. being one. Okay. My point being is you're being paid with stolen money. Your taxpayer money is stolen from me. I don't consent to that money being stolen from me. Okay. And you're being, your responsibility on working for the government is to ask invasive questions. Like, you're asking Plus me all these private... is invasive? Asking me who lives here, how, you know, what no, ethnicities. No, I said it could be anonymous. Asking, I put anonymous. I don't asking know you. about how many rooms. Know. Like you know the address because you're here. Right. My Again, thing it's is, for housing. To okay, be but sure I, that I'm asking you those safe, same questions. I'm asking live. you those same questions, yeah. and you're not answering them because I'm a human. I'm just a regular person. You don't know me, but I yeah. don't know you. Yeah. So I, you see that you see the, you. the problem to this. I invite you to go to either call the. This is my card. This is who I am. If you could... I invite you to call the 800 number, and okay. that is the headquarters, since this is for you. Okay. I invite you to look at census.gov. I invite you to find now, out more information. Now, you do know, under the United States Constitution, I do all, have you, to go all you are supposed to be responsible to, to ask them. for is how many people live here. Every other question that you ask is not in the Constitution. It's unconstitutional.
Again, the census is only supposed to be once every 10 years for how many people country. live in a location. I love my country and I want to see improve and I want people to have it. And I want to see improvement too, but I don't think a monopoly of the use of force by the state is that oh, responsibility. I'm, I wasn't forceful. I'm, I'm not saying no, here. but you represent, not, you're okay. not, not going to hold, uh, you. you're not doing the violence, but someone else will at some point. Thank you.